little blood, little blood, back again with another little blood TV exclusive. Of course, we powered by Talker Media. You can't say little blood TV without saying Talker Media. But um, the youth, man, the future, um, hometown hero. You know, anytime it's a brother up here from the town, I just want to give them they flowers off the back just for um, surviving the shit we go through being an Oakland nigga. You get what I'm saying? Um, solid young brother. Um, man, this young brother been supposed to work for the last couple of years, man. And, um, you know, shit been happening. And I salute this little, this young nigga um, just based on the fact um, the nigga always paying homage, man. And... Um, you know, genuinely, you know, the nigga made a post and it shocked me not too long ago. He like, man, I just need a song with Lil Blood. And uh, hella motherfuckers start tapping in like, bro, that's big, bro. You know, Lil Bro, hella talented. He do this, he do this, he do that and the other. Um, and plus, you know, I um, when I was a little kid, man, I stayed over there in the project. So, uh, you know, it's kind of rooted over there. Um Project Papa, what's happening? Yeah, man, what's happening, man? How you doing, King? Good, good, good. Um, glad you finally pulled up yeah. when, you know, we was long right. overdue. Um, we gonna get straight down to it. Project Papa. You a project, baby. Yeah, for Period. sure. Period. For sure. 65th. Real, real deal. Yeah. Real deal. Um, what was your experience growing up in them projects? Yeah, uh, I mean, that shit, like... I don't like to just make it seem like it's different, but it is different. Mm -hmm. Growing up in the projects is fake way different than growing up just like in the streets. Right, right, you right. Me? Like on the regular street. But I mean, you know, it was fun as a kid and shit like that, but it was dangerous. But okay. you feel me? A nigga didn't realize how dangerous it was until I started getting older. And then I started asking questions about certain shit that was going on back in the day. And then I realized like, damn, like, you feel right, me? Right, right. Especially uh, like where I stayed back in the day. I stayed by the alleyway in the Ville. And there's uh -huh. motherfuckers know about the alleyway back in the, you feel me? So it'd, it'd be times where I'd be running around the house and then niggas be on the side of the building like, you can't come up over here right now. Like that type shit. So I really didn't understand it until later. Like, but you know. Right, so it was right. like I was playing right there where all this shit was going on. So um, growing up in the projects, you had that project mentality. Yeah. That crabs in the barrel mentality. Yeah. Um, you know, like you said, growing up on the streets is different because, you know, you wiggling through blocks yeah. and it jets you. You are. It's right there. You, you're right there. Right it's there. like you bust yeah. in. Um, do you say um, it helped you more than it, it fucked yeah. you up? Nah, it, it helped me for sure. Especially, like, it helped me, like, be able to watch, like, sneak attacks kind of. Because mm, it's like when shit happened in the projects, nine times out of ten, the first person they gonna blame is somebody in the projects because mm. I mean the damn near get somebody in the projects you either gotta know it like the back of your hand or you gotta be somebody in that motherfucker right. you feel me so it just it kind of you know it just keep me on my shit more because right. I, I didn't seen hella shit going up in that motherfucker right right you right right, right i didn't seen some of the hardest niggas go you right know right mean? um being from the jets do that kind of like hinder your music career i mean i don't know I don't know. Yeah, no. Somewhat. Somewhat. Um, I know because um, I'm from Dogtown, and, um, you know, a lot of people um, don't fuck with my music or don't fuck with me just because of the neighborhood I'm from or people we associate yeah. with. You get what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, well, shit, I'm going to say nowadays, yeah, when I first was rapping, nah. Nah. Like, now it's like hella shit changed. Like, politics nah. is really like... Starting it, niggas wasn't politic. Well, I'm gonna say niggas was politicking back then, but they really was politicking. Politicking right, right. was real. Like now, the shit just fake. Like niggas just doing anything. Right, right. Anybody right. can be anything nowadays, so it fucks the politics up. Right, because of the me? internet. Yeah, the, inter blame the, the internet, internet blame. Yeah, that's 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 a lot of. I definitely problems. blame the internet, and um, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I preach this a lot. Um, I preach this a lot. Um. Music is like an escape goat, bro, yeah. and they give us a way out. And um, if we learn how to keep the politics away from music, which is very hard now, because it's like everybody want to rap, and um, yeah, yeah. you know, as soon as a nigga hit a lick and buy a chain, he think he's a rapper. Yeah, not you feel sure. me? So, especially a nigga like you, you feel me? You got a fan base. Yeah. You hella talented as an artist, not only um, 
do you rap, bro? Like I see you design shit, clothing. Um, yeah. I see your visions you bring to life with your visual visuals you shoot. Like nigga, you're an artist. Like you ain't just no rapper, my nigga. Yeah. You an artist, and um, being that you're an artist. Yo, yo, mentality, yo, yo, thinking level. You on a whole, yeah, nah, for sure. You on a whole yeah. different frequencies yeah. than a lot of people, bro. And um, nigga, if you was not the um start of the start of the fence, and I don't know your business, I'm just yeah. you feel me speaking. If you just dove all the way in and focused on your your artist side, bro, I think nigga, you would be way. Yeah, nah, you get sure. what I'm saying? Like sure. you would take off, bro, because um, it was a picture you took. That went super viral. Oh yeah, and um, yeah. I think it was cover. like a it was an album cover, yeah. and um, you came up with that to your neck, huh? Yeah, and yeah, yeah bro, like um, I don't know if they seen it. Y'all probably seen it. It was like a um, wasn't it like a police or something? Yeah, it was holding a police officer and then just like a street nigga. Yeah, with so the guns to my with head. the guns to yeah. your head, and that spoke volume, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That I spoke. ain't know it was gonna do all that. Somebody yeah. got that shit tatted on them, man. They from like Chicago or something. You see shit. what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, that that spoke big. volume. Um, and to be a young nigga and to think like that, people don't, you know, yeah, niggas not on that sure. level, bro. And um, uh, I commend you on that type of shit. Yeah. And um, uh, I think you got a way out, little bro. Yeah. Um, if you just focus on that, bro, and you dive in on that shit for like a year straight, I think you gonna yeah. surpass yeah. a lot of niggas, that, bro. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Um, yo, music. What um, what motivates you to make the type of music you make? Shit, man. I mean, shit. Just basically like shit I done seen, did, been through. Other people then you feel me? Been through. You know, I, I know a lot of people. I'm like a person that like motherfuckers like to vent to because mm. I don't tell people business and shit like right, that. So right. it's like I be knowing a lot of shit that people be going through. Even like when I do albums and I got skits and shit, uh -huh. I like my skits to be real. If it's gonna be some jail shit, it's about to be a nigga who doing time in right. jail doing the skit. You feel me? If it's some shit about a girl who didn't had an abortion and this didn't happen, it's gonna be somebody. You feel me? That went through that. Yeah, yeah, I tell her I ain't got to put your name on here. None of that. I didn't did that. It was us. Uh, it was some story. It was like a girl. She was like home and she was got raped. It was all kind of shit. That was real. Uh -huh. It was real. That was real. I didn't even know her. She just reached out on Instagram. I'm like, I need somebody to do a skit. Woo. She like, I'll do it. Right, right, you feel me? right. Her shit was so real. It was hella long. I had to split the skit up into like the beginning of the song and then after the song. Ah, like she wow. had two different numbers. But shout out to her. I forgot her name. But yeah. That's so. deep. That's deep. So being from that view, um, the Felix Mitchell shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you feel as if like um, you're walking in some big ass shoes or... I mean, nah, I don't really, I don't even like to kind of compare us to them no more. Like, okay. we our own niggas now. Okay, like, salute that. to them. Like, you feel me? I For always sure. show respect to them. You feel me? Because that's where I come from at the end of the day. Like, my hood wouldn't be what it is without them niggas. Right, but right. we got our own shit going on now. Right, right, you feel me? Right. But it's still salute to them. You know how it is what it is. For Definitely. Sure. Whole another generation. Yeah, um, whole different generation. You know, when I was living over there, it was... The view, the view. Yeah. <laughs> no, for real. That was like the little. You ever flip that? Nah, no. What? No, I ain't you ever thought that. about it? Yeah. Come but on. I gotta have the right person read. You feel okay, me? Yeah, I don't want to yeah, rush it. If yeah. I'm gonna do something like, if I'm gonna touch anything that got something to do with some history shit, uh -huh. I'm gonna make sure I do it right. Okay, I ain't gonna rush and sure. do that shit. Old for school sure. Seagrams, definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, that's crazy. Um, what schools did you go to? Shit, I went to uh, I went to Lockwood, okay, right Lockwood, by the right deal. There. I tried to go to Havens Court. Mines wasn't having that. I'm she like, you, you and your niggas gonna be doing too much. So she sent me to King, thinking uh -huh. that was gonna be better. That's how I met like hella niggas from the deep. She thinking King cool because it's in the hills. Right. Like, nah, that's where all the DNI niggas at. The Savage Boys. There's all kind of shit going right, on right, there. Right, feel right. me? I went there. Then I went to uh, where the fuck I go after that? Then high school, I went to Lionel Wilson. Uh huh. That was in Sabrani. I, 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 I went there I for like a couple Wilson. months. And then I switched to San Leandro High. That's uh -huh. when it was hella people from Oakland up there. Then I had went to jail at that motherfucker. Then I went to Fremont High in, okay. in the east. Then I went to jail up there. Damn, and nigga. then I had got... Fuck. It was some little bullshit. And then I had... Um, I think I went to the Tap Center after that. And then they tried to, uh, I tried to go to Ohio, but I was on house arrest. And then they didn't, they didn't want to let me come to Ohio because of what happened at Fremont. Right, right. So they like, nah, we ain't about to take him. And then, uh, what's the school? I think it's called Youth Empowerment, which uh -huh. which King used to be. Uh -huh. You feel me? I mean, what uh, what King was? That's what King was at first. 
in the change of youth empowerment. And then after that, I finished at Skyline. Okay, cool. So I was surprised. Oh, so Skyline you what? Definitely. With Skyline? Yeah. Skyline yeah, still I was got surprised all the they, At that time, yeah. Skyline I was surprised too. they accepted me because it was Skyline. I thought right. Ohio would accept me first. But right, 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 right. Yeah, Skyline was like more upper echelon yeah, type shit, yeah. definitely. It was just for me. When we used to go up there and fuck with it, it was them heels, man. Yeah, I man. ain't like all that shit. Hell no. Nah. But that's how I know hella people too. All them schools and right, selling your ride, going here, going here. Then I'm when niggas coming from San Leandro High going straight to the east, so I'm the last one getting off the bus. Right, you right, 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 right. That right. type of shit. Um, what made you pick up the camera? Shit, uh, with growing up, I always be taking pictures of everybody and shit like that. Like I'm the nigga who got, I'm the nigga who got pictures with uh, niggas you would never see hanging with each other again. Right, like, I'm right, that right, type right, of person. Right, I got right. all the shit like that. But when the pandemic had first started. I was doing this little temp job. That's one thing about me. I'm a hustler. Like, uh -huh. feel me? I go get a job, not get a job, do some other shit. You feel me? I know how to do what I do. So I end up just buying. The clothes were slowing down because uh -huh. the pandemic had the shipping off, kind of off. So me and my brother, uh, Kusto, I'm like, bro, we about to just get a camera. So the thing was, he was supposed to do videos and shoot my shit, and mm -hmm. I was supposed to do pictures. Oh, okay. But it went the hey. whole, feel me? The whole opposite way. I just learned the video shit hella fast because before I was shooting my own shit, I used to direct my own shit. Oh, okay. This okay. whole time I was rapping, I always told the camera, this is how I want my oh, shit. Want Woo. shit yeah. So I already kind of, you feel me? Then I just picked up the editing hella fast. I was just studying that shit, asking a few of my partners some questions, and then I learned that shit hella fast. Oh, so you um, edit the videos yourself yeah, too? Yeah, I shoot my own. Only thing I don't shoot, if I'm rapping, I just set the, the, feel me, the settings up, show somebody, do it like this. Anything I'm not in, I shoot all my B-roll. Anything else, if it's acting in my shit, I don't need to be in. I'm shooting that shit because I know how I want my shit. Right, I'm not editing my own genius, shit, bro. Yeah. What's your sign? I'm a Virgo. You are Virgo? Yeah. You're a fucking genius, bro. That's dope as fuck. Um, what type of bitches a little pop a deal with, man? Nah, <laughs> shit. Uh, <laughs> as long as it, it, she just gotta respect herself, because oh, at the end of the day, okay. if I'm fucking with you, you a reflection of me. Say that. I don't like to look like a fool. Say you feel that. Me? I don't, yeah. I don't I don't have no niggas laughing at me. You don't have no bitches laughing at Say me. That. Cause whatever you do gonna fall back on me. Especially the type of nigga I am. You, people look at me a certain way, so it's like if I'm fucking with you and you doing all this loose ass shit, right. motherfucker gonna be like, nah, he can't be fucking with that bitch. Right, but right. As long as you respect yourself, like I ain't really too much tripping off. Oh, she look like this. I ain't whatever. Like, right. yeah. Papa got kids. Nah, I just got god kids. You got god kids. Yeah. You want some? Yeah, but I'm just I'm focused on me right now. If it happened, it happened, but I ain't too much, you feel me? You for sure fucking much. something raw right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Definitely. That nigga said, yeah. Um, tell me about the clothing line, bro. What's the motivation yeah. behind that? Shit, I got uh I got three brands. So I got the Lane Life one, that's the one with the bear. That was the okay. main one. That's the one I first started off with. And then the low income credit club, that's I ain't really put that one out too much. Uh -huh. The one everybody been talking about recently is the fiance, fiance one. That's my design brand. Okay. So it's that one. Shit. I mean, I had came up with that. I was holding on to that motherfucker for like two years or something before I even put that motherfucker out. In a project, feel uh -huh. me, sitting in the parking lot, me and my niggas. I'm thinking, I'm thinking fiance was just for a female at first. You right, feel me? Right, right. So I'm like, I'm gonna make a lingerie brand for the bitches. Woo woo, feel me? Then I look it up. I'm like, oh, it's for both. So I'm right, like, right. I'm just going to make it a designer brand. I'm 10 like, swear to God, if my niggas, my niggas going to watch this. Like 10 minutes after that, bang out. This same day I made that brand. Uh -huh. Same day. I swear to God, it's just how shit be happening. But, you know, you can't let that kind of shit stop you. you right, know? right. Definitely. But the Lane Life one, that was, I started that probably fucking 2015 or 16 or some shit uh -huh. like that. But it used to be a badass baby as the logo. Then I didn't want to do that. Uh -huh. And then the, like the last logo I had, it was a baby holding a bear. That was my way to introduce the bear. Right, you right, right. Okay. But I'm glad I did that because like white people fuck with that shit. Like kids, Definitely. like hella people yeah, really I'll fuck with that shit. shit. Yeah, like motherfuckers fuck shit. with that shit. For so sure. um, does 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 it ever get overwhelming? You pushing the clothing line, the music, shooting the videos. Do that shit ever get overwhelming? Shit. Um. Like I mean, lately it been fake way catching up to me. Lately I've been fake way hella tired and shit, but I'm like a workaholic though. Like mm. even like like at nights, that's when my best ideas come. That's when I write my best songs. Like if I'm sitting there and I think of a line, I gotta get up and write it. Right, you right, feel right, me? And I might right. keep going. Or if I'm sitting there and I'm thinking of a closing, like a logo, I gotta get up, go do me a little sketch and shit, cause 
I just be ready to just get shit done. So you design all your clothes. Yeah, I mean, you. I I draw it and then I just send it to the person who really yeah, know yeah, how to draw. Sure. But yeah, yeah, that? I tell them like this is how I want it. Femi woo woo, do this this color. This is how I want it to look. Oh, That's crazy. Yeah. All by yourself, no team. By myself. Yeah, that shit by myself. That's raw as fuck, bro. I told you, bro. You're an artist, bro. Yeah. You got to embrace that little bro. Yeah, like, not for sure. Not for sure. <laughs> Don't waste that talent because I'm going to keep it real with you. Um, the streets will suck you in, bro. Yeah. And um, you'll either be dead or in jail. And being in jail... You'll be thinking the coulda, woulda, shit. For sure, yeah. That's like, the last thing. You feel thing me? Know, like, mm -hmm. and that shit's sickening, bro. Especially, like I said, nigga, you a talented young nigga. And for that talent to just be there, bro, mm -hmm. like, and just sitting, wasted, gone down, like, that, that's not okay. And, um, you know, we live in where, where even me, sometimes I fall victim to the courts of public opinion. Yeah. Like, I worry about what the next motherfucker gonna say or think of me you feel me when really that opinion really don't matter because yeah, nine times out of ten i'm doing way better than that person that's hating and shit you feel me so nigga um find a way bro to really execute your dreams little yeah. bro because you hella saucy and it's on my heart heavy i keep i don't know why it's keep coming in the front of my head to just keep you feel me hitting narrating that shit to you hitting you with that bro like follow your passion little bro please follow your passion because you got it you feel mm -hmm. me like you got it um Nigga, you just went from three different clothing lines, you feel me? A nigga just press up a shirt. You right, feel what I'm saying? Right. Like, niggas, like, you got your shit all the way down pack. You know which way you want to go. Yeah, nah, you get what so I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nah, you got to stay on that shit, bro, because um, uh, I don't mind. It's a devil's playground. You feel me? And you definitely got to just keep pushing. And I heard... You feel me through the grapevine? Niggas was just all in uh, Universal Studios, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me shooting a big old, big old video, man. I heard it's a little East Oakland nigga on, on the song with Jeezy and all type of shit. What's going on, man? Enlighten me. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's, you just said it right there. You know, it's somebody else on that motherfucker too, but I just, you know, they didn't see it, but. Yeah, we was at that motherfucker for right, sure. Right, right. They um, had some Ville niggas on that shout set out to, for sure. Yeah, shout um, out to uh, the boy Dang. Oh, yeah, you nah, feel hell me? yeah. You know, I just sure. had him in here. You he feel about me? to turn up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, That's about to turn some shit up. Definitely, sure. man. Definitely. Good ass experience for sure. I ain't, I ain't never experienced some shit like that. Shit, right, even right. people bigger than me ain't even get to, you feel me? Yeah, for sure. That type shit, like even from like the trailer, like. The trailer, like, fake way looked like a little hotel on the inside of that right, motherfucker. Right, like, right. that type shit. Like, that shit was crazy, bro. Definitely. That shit was crazy. You see fun. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you feel, you get to see shit. Like, look at the shit you exposed to. Like, yeah, nah, you feel me? Sure. The average motherfucker will never be in rooms yeah. you've been, yeah. been in. You feel me? So, like, you know, um, God showing you this shit. Yeah. You know, he's showing yeah. you whoever you believe in. God, Allah, Buddha, Jesus, whatever your high, higher power is. Your higher power is exposing you to this shit and showing you, like, nigga, that's what you can do. Yeah, no, for sure. That's what type of shit you can be on. Yeah. Like, you know, you can really break the curse for real and be, yeah. you know, one nah, of the first motherfuckers. Definitely. Oh, that's, that's a, I'm going to say another thing about, a good thing about having your own clothing line, too, when it comes to shoots like that. Because, uh -huh. you know, you got to sign shit off and shit right, like right, that. Right, right, right. So, I could wear my own shit. I ain't got to worry about if I want to wear a Miri, I got to go to them and see if they can sign it off and all and get down. Right. And the type of shit I wore, my own shit, they got them asking like, this your shit? You right, who right, shit is this? Yeah. Like, that's my shit. They like, oh yeah, everybody was on. Like, you want to see the jacket? Yeah. When they well, get, the man, I'm supposed to have one. <laughs> Nigga. I got you. I was yeah, rushing. I was I rushing. Bet, I was rushing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard the fuck out of that. What was your, um, because I do clothes too. And, um. Lil Bean was up here. Yeah. Lil Bean, like, man, I want a straight clothing line. I don't want no merchandise. Yeah, and yeah, that yeah. Um, woke me up, you feel me? Because um, when I was pressing my shit, I was just on some merch shit. Yeah, but my it's shit a big really, difference. Exactly, big difference. Yeah. exactly. Yeah, um, big difference. What gave you the motivation to do that? Shit, like I said, once I when I made that new brand, and I'm like, this got to be some my designer shit. Cause I was really, I studied like the Supreme and all that vape right, right. and all that shit like that, like the reselling and all that shit. Uh -huh. I just studied that shit, and I told people like, I gotta make my shit higher, uh -huh. not to be greedy, but the higher shit costs, the less people gonna have it, and oh, the more mama. people gonna want it. And oh, then that's mama. how you make people. Oh, I'm gonna get this for my birthday. I'm gonna get this for when I step out. Oh, you gotta study this shit. You feel me? So that's why people respect it too. If it was about money, I my shit, everybody been fucking with it so tough. If I lower it down, I sell out. That'd right. be me being greedy. Like, nah, I'm gonna keep it at a high price. 
Cause I know hella people not gonna just come out their pocket. Right, I know when right. you buy it, you gonna take care of it. Mm-hmm. You gonna dry clean and shit, mm-hmm. just like you do your vape shit, your supreme mm-hmm. shit, your other shit. That's how you gonna take care of this shit. Mm-hmm. When people Definitely. people need to be saying this shit in their songs, I, I say my brand in my songs now. Right, right, Feel right. Me? I be saying my one partner, he got a, a brand too. That's like a designer brand. I wear his jeans at the video shoot. Uh-huh. Feel me? Cause his shit, it get it's that quality. Right, right. I, be, I was saying his his brand before I even had a piece of his fucking mm. clothes. You feel me? If if but I had to push it, I had to push it like a designer brand. You feel me? I had to. Like I spend hella money on that shit. On my mama. Sometimes if I gotta spend four hundred for a sample, I'm gonna do that. On my like, mama. You feel me? Yeah. I don't be going. I don't make money from that to go buy other real designer shit. I don't right, do that. Right, right. I spend back on me, or I'm gonna go buy my partner shit. That's Damn, some good quality say that, shit. Say that. Damn, um, you raw as hell, little bro. We gotta do a collab. What's up? Man, I okay. tell him how I sent you that song. Uh, 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 I end up having to get killed on there. Yeah. He went. He. Went crazy, crazy yeah. yeah. But you know, yeah. we, we still, Come yeah, on, yeah. We need to do a collab yeah. from the music to the clothing brand, bro. Um, like I said, I'm a fan of your shit, yeah, I'm a fan so. of your art. Like, uh, you a saucy ass nigga, yeah, you feel I me? And, um, we gotta exploit that, yeah. We definitely gotta exploit that. Um, right now, if you can go back in time and tell a 16 year old papa something, what would you tell him? Damn, uh. I probably would have told him to take school a little more serious. Okay. If anything, just to Femi get a little, you know, learn a little more on that on that type hype. Like I'm far from a dummy, but you know, just go a little more, probably some college type shit. Just right, to, right, right. You feel me? But other than that, I can't really think. Like other than that, I'm cool with everything else. Like I'm I'm about to be where I'm about to be because Femi, what I what I've been doing this whole time. Right, 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 right. I don't really want to speak too much on it because it might happen, it might not happen. But, right, you right. Know, if but um, it's gonna happen, yeah, bro. I got yeah, faith in your process, sure. bro. Like I've definitely got faith in your process. It's definitely gonna happen. Um, how do you deal with depression? Man, I don't lie. That shit be fake hard because I ain't a person who talk to other people about my problems, but everybody come to me about their problems. You feel me? So that shit be kind of. I can't even think of a person who I just automatically just like I call them about my problems. It had to be like in a spare of the moment type of. You feel me? Right, right, Type right. shit. So I don't know. That shit just be kind of just build up. Right, really, right. I don't really talk to nobody about nothing. Do you think that's healthy though, bro? Nah. Yeah. Hell nah. Because that type of shit is how you thinking too much. Because you ain't talking to nobody. You kind of talking to your damn self. Right. So that kind of shit will cause like strokes and stress and all that shit like that. Right, right. But I, I know what's going on. So that's what kind of help. Like I'm not blind to this shit. Like a motherfucker be stressing they self out. Not even knowing, boy, you about to have a fucking stroke. Right, so they don't definitely. know. I right. know what the fuck can happen. You feel me? So I know when it's time to. I made sure I go to the hospital and all that. I went recently. You feel me? My chest was hurting and a little shit like that. I made sure I went. You know, I told certain people. And they stayed on me about it, nigga. Go, like you need to go. Like before I went to L.A., I had told somebody something was going on. Like, bro, before you go, you need to, you feel me, to go handle that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't go, but I'm gonna go. Though. What's um? I was cool. Who are some of your inspirations? Oh man, damn. I ain't gonna lie. I don't really know nobody like this or just some. It's just really like where I grew up at. Like it just motivate me. You feel me to just keep doing what I'm doing, cause. Mm-hmm. You know, I know it's always better than where we come from and shit like that. Not saying I never fig I never forget where I come from. You feel me? But if I do something to you feel me get to a better place, it's gonna show other motherfuckers in there like, all right, if he could do it, I could do that shit. We right. see so many other people do it who we don't know, so we think the shit fake. Right. You feel me? But then when it's like when it's somebody you really know and grew up with, and you feel me, it show you like, oh yeah. Just like when we went to LA, like when my niggas was there, we like, what the fuck? Like niggas right, like we really did. right here. Yeah, like, you feel me? And I heard you gas niggas too. I was tripping. Was and tripping. my verse old as fuck. That right. shit had like from 2015, it's 2022. Yeah. I'm trying to write my whole thing like, nah, nah. Cause it was like, I think they were trying to like really commercialize so they can push that shit. Right. At right. first I wasn't, I'm like, nah, bruh. Like, you know how hood niggas, you know where we from. We don't like, yeah. man, what? Like, feel me? But as time start going by and shit, I start really understanding. I'm like, that's why I see how the video was done. I'm like, okay, I see what they doing. Like, they trying to really get some money out this shit. Like, right, for sure. Right. And that's what matter. You feel me? Definitely. Like, right. for sure. Uh, what's your advice to the youth? Man, I don't lie. 
Like these days, I just say stay out the streets on some real shit because the streets is not the streets no more. You don't got them older niggas telling you right from wrong. Man. Niggas now is act like they scared of these little niggas or they just following these little niggas. Right. Cause a lot of most, uh, most of the older niggas what wasn't them niggas back in the day. So they not going to sit there and tell the young nigga the real because that's going to have the young nigga looking at them like, well, you wasn't even one of them niggas back in the day. All right, like man. that, but I say stay out the streets on some real and shit. And I don't make a nigga less of a nigga. Yeah, nah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Just because you in the streets don't mean you a real nigga. Right, like, right. it's niggas who ain't in the streets harder than niggas who in the streets. Mm -hmm. A lot of niggas in the streets are just in it because the next nigga. You feel me? Little shit like that, but I, I for sure would say that. These days, it ain't worth it. And there's too many cameras everywhere. How you thugging? You ain't thugging like right. that. Like, the fuck? <laughs> Yo, has going to be sick yeah, if somebody's in jail. Yeah, you going to be in jail, nigga. Yeah, for sure. Um, what are some of the um, day-to-day -day struggles you deal with? Uh, It'll probably be the, the, you know, the fake way depression shit. I don't really want to say like that, but you know, just overthinking yeah, shit know. like that. That yeah. type shit. Because I don't talk to people about the shit. Uh, that. Just, yeah, I would probably say just that, you do, know. Uh, do you ever feel like saying, fuck this rap shit? Yeah, I felt like that before this song got, you feel me? I was about to, I was just about to be done. But it really wasn't on no mad shit. I was happy with the retirement shit. I'm like, I did what I had to do, feel me? I did hella shit, you feel me? I ain't tripping. I'm about to focus on the videos and the clothes. I'm like, mm -hmm. me doing music is taking, is taking my 100% to everything else like you feel uh, me so I, it wasn't one of them like oh i'm hella mad like nah i didn't give a fuck like you can't call me weak that's what right, you can't do definitely. so i don't give a fuck you feel me so it was just like you know then the call came in like hey nigga you don't need to do that he about to call you you better not say that shit because would you all right whatever right right dude he called like man what's up you know ooh, ooh. I'm like it's good let's get it popping shot down man did that no this is a minute before that they let me know like we finna we finna finally you feel yeah, me we do the shit up. yeah and that shit really happened so you know nigga get another year out of me or something yeah, with me you just never know I just be doing trying shit I, I told somebody I'm trying to find something else to learn too I just don't know yet right. I was gonna start trying to cut hair with my little brother do it I don't step on toes I'm gonna let him do that that's uh, crazy yeah. um somebody else just told me that little Dallas from Sat yeah just told me that like man I want to just learn how to cut hair just for yeah. the art of it yeah that shit yeah. saucy as fuck right right that shit look hella hard too um do you have any regrets uh nope I don't mm. not nope yeah. nope yeah, yeah, nope yeah. um me personally I feel everybody have regrets yeah um. They might not be big, but I feel like everybody wish they would have did or could have yeah, did something yeah, different. Some different. Yeah, yeah, right, for sure. Right. For I'm sure. always pushing that. For um, sure. Outside of rap and um, just outside of like all the political shit, just Papa, just you, what is something you want to do? Shit, uh, I just be wanting to help my people, really. Mm. That's another reason why I kept rapping too, because it's like if I got... Everything always go back to social media. If I got traffic coming through my shit and I post your shit, that's shit for you. Feel me? Somebody gonna like your shit. Whatever you doing, whether it's rapping, cutting hair, if the broad paint nails, doing hair, whatever. Like I'm one of them. To, if I, I'm the type of person when I find out somebody wanna do something around me, I act like I'm doing this shit. Like I get to looking up hella shit more than them. Get the feel me? Look at this. Feel me? Try this. Whoa, whoa. Like my little brother who cut hair, I send that nigga hella shit every fucking day. Like, I'm trying to cut hair. Right, know? right, definitely, definitely. Little shit like that. Uh, one of my little sisters, she be trying to cook. I send her hella shit on TikTok. Like, you need to try this. You need to do this. Uh, the Bay Area Fools, nigga, I tapped in with him. I need a favor. You know, I grow up with dude. I need a right, favor. Right. I need you to, feel me? Be one of the tasters for his shit. No questions asked. It's good. I got you. You know, right, he got right. hella followers. I just, yeah, I just right. like to help my people. Really, that's, you feel me? That's really what I do it for. Help uh, motherfuckers. Who is some of the artists you work with as far as the Bay Area? Uh... I don't lie. If if a lot of people really in tune with my shit, I don't really work with. I work with myself a lot. You feel me? But um, I didn't worked with people before. But for the most part, like I be working by myself. Right, but, right. Like lately, uh, Killer, I got something with Pussy about to come out. Pussy raw. I just had Pussy up yeah. here too. We early. connect good because where he from? That's where my whole daddy side from. Right, right. You feel right. me? So um, trying to think who else. Uh, that's damn near who I. That's really Is there anybody you, know? you will work with? Um, oh, I got some with Simba coming too. Okay, shout out to Simba. That shout motherfucker's Simba. stupid. My oh, mama's. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of people I work with for sure. It's a lot of people. Yeah, you, nigga. A lot of for people. Sure, <laughs> definitely. You know, that's easy. We yeah. definitely going to knock that out. Um, like I said, um, 
this ain't just no uh a nigga tapped in and just you feel hey. me? You know, you were supposed to be one of the first uh mm-hmm. guests on this motherfucker, but you know our shit be yeah. our schedule. You know, everything happened for a reason. Definitely, definitely. But um what I would say, you stand on business though. Yeah. Like you feel so, me? If you say you're gonna do something, you you yeah. you definitely did and I um respect you for that. I had to. Um our artists outside the bay, who would you work with? Ooh, um uh, trying to think uh these, see these kind of questions, they be kind of hard because they be so many people. I don't right. be wanna, you feel me? I don't know. Uh, okay, look. I don't know. Let's put it like this: one female singer. Her. Let's build a song. One, her, her. You yes. have her on the hook. Yes. Okay. For let's so. go to one one male R and B singer. I'm going Bryson Tiller or Chris Brown. Oh, okay. Mm, her Bryson Tiller, well, yeah. Chris Brown. Okay, rapper. Some, is this all on the same song? It's the same song. We build I'm going working. young boy because oh, he, he, a lot of niggas can't switch over. Yeah. So it's like whatever they singing about, he gonna be over the. You feel okay, me? who he doing the beat? Rap. I'm going with Street Runner. Street Runner. Okay, yeah. I'm sleep. I'm sleeping. Street, Street Runner, Runner, big 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 producer. Album album beats. Raw album beats. Okay. Lil Wayne, Fat Joe, all type of motherfuckers. Okay. Meek Mill, you feel me? Yeah. That's my dog too. I know him personally. Who shooting the video? Mmm. I'm if if I'm I'm gonna go with the I'm a, if I go Bay Area I'm going with Keone. That's what we just shot what we just did. Mm-hmm. If I'm going on some just like some street good good quality, I'm going Jerry Productions. Jerry. If I wanted to be a little different, I'm going Lyrical Lemonade. Look at sure. you, look yeah. at you. You be on your <laughs> shit, huh? Yeah. You be on your shit, definitely. Um Ten years from now, where you see yourself? Shit, ten years, I'm gonna be retired. I already okay. wanted to, I already wanted to, you feel me? But okay. I'm going to be hopefully doing, hopefully the brand, big as fuck, you uh-huh. feel me? The the video shit, hopefully, hopefully I got a real production type shit going on to where I can hire other people, kick back. I'm trying to kick back. I'm already like a chill. I don't like going out and shit, so I'm I'm ready right. to just chill and kick back type shit. I'm one of them type niggas. Be too much going on. Definitely, you definitely. feel me? So you don't fuck with the club scene at all. Fuck no. <laughs> if it ain't my people throwing something, I'm not fucking with it. If I can't control who coming in and out, yeah. nah, I'm not fucking with it. You I, gotta. I, I definitely, especially coming from where we come from, bro. Yeah, like, shit really happened yeah, too fast. Yeah, shit, bro. And and then, certain niggas be knowing security. It be too much right. going on. And then niggas um. They killing rappers for game right now. Yeah, like yeah, it, for it's sure. sad. Like you feel for me? Sure. And you know we're from we're from one of them cities, bro. Like, yeah, niggas want to be disrespectful. Yeah, but see that's yeah. one thing about me. Like I don't really I don't talk about dead people and shit. That's it's like a nigga already about. gone. Without you feel me? If I'm gonna say some shit, I'm beeping shit out. Or if you know, you know. I'm not just about to strictly because I don't want nobody disrespecting my dead partners because right, I'm not going to take that on some rap shit. We not about to be rapping back and forth at that point in time. I'm right. not even going to be wanting to rap no more. You right, feel me? Right, right. On some like... Do you make this different. I talk my shit. Okay, cool. So cool, cool, cool. I'm not going to sit here and fake it. I talk my shit. Right, right, right. But right, I'm right. not going to be dissing no dead people just straight up. You feel me? Right, because right. don't open the door that you don't want to be open. You feel me? That ain't... Don't do that. And a lot of niggas can't take that. You feel me? But like I said, and I know what it be the outcome if if a motherfucker like start doing that shit to me, I'm not gonna want to be on no rap shit. Right, like, right, you feel right, me? Right. We ain't about to be doing all that. Definitely. If you had um, if you had 28 hours before you was turning yourself in for life, <laughs> what would you do? Uh, I'm gonna for sure go get some pussy for sure. <laughs> for sure, I'm okay. gonna go get some pussy. Definitely. I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna spend hella time with my mama and my people. Mm, say that for like on some real shit, especially my mama though, for sure. I'm gonna yeah. do that for sure. Mama's boy. Yeah, definitely, for sure. definitely. Um, how you feel about um niggas like Jetty Youngins and mm-hmm. um, God bless the dead, the Slobies and all that? Like, yeah. um, as a young black man, as a young rapper, like, how does that make you feel? Man, motherfuckers just got to be on their shit more. Like, you got to really know that you hella important. Not trying to downplay everybody else, like, and saying they not important, but you really important. Especially if, if a nigga out here funking or, you feel me? We the target. Like, mm-hmm. you feel me? Get the rapper. They can't say shit no more. Get the rapper. This who going to be supplying in their eyes or whatever the case is. Or, you know, niggas be wanting to feel like, oh, I just got the trophy. 
Like Definitely. little shit like that. Like you feel me? But niggas just gotta you just gotta be on your shit, bro. You gotta move a certain way. Like you don't always gotta be out or just right, going right, certain right, places. Right, it's right. cool to say no or you feel me? Right. I don't wanna go or whatever. And niggas gotta stop riding in these certain cars. Like mm. he in the front of his mama house in the blue. You feel me? Like well, that's not about cool. In like the fucking yeah, ghetto. That ain't cool. I ride around and shit you don't think I will be driving. Well, you too? Like, you too? For real. Yeah. Like for real, for real. That's one thing. Like niggas want to impress these bitches. Right, say that. Fuck all that. Like say I that. make the car. The car don't make me a bitch. Going if if you that nigga, the bitch gonna want you for you, Regardless. not for the car. None of that. Like I could buy any car I want. You feel me? For the most part, but it ain't about that. I'm still living out here. Right, right. All it takes is a nigga. Oh, pop riding and whoop you woo woo. Right, right. Nah, my niggas been telling me, bro, you got good ass credit. Go buy. No. Why would right. I do that? The fuck? Hell no. Nah. You a smart nigga. Um. Uh... Do you tweak on the NFTs and all that shit? I, I couldn't really get into it like that. Yeah, me Yeah, either. but yeah. they was trying to tell me to do the little picture and shit, but I, I was trying to learn it, but it starts. when I'm so, like, I be hella good at shit, so when I can't do something, I get hella frustrated. Right. And I just stop hella fast. But, you know, people be telling me, like, stop doing that because you eventually get it, but right. I kind of gave up on that shit a little bit. Yeah, be all right. Yeah, be all right. Well, bro, you a dope-ass young nigga, man. Um... Like, just dope as fuck, just sitting mm -hmm. here having this conversation with you, um, really waking the nigga game up for real. And um, like I said, it's an honor, bro. It's an honor. Um, we been overdue. We was been supposed to connect the dots. But like you said, in due time, everything yeah, happens for, for, sure. a reason. for a reason. For um, sure. Definitely can't force shit. And um, like I said, this shit genuine, bro. And um, I really hope, little bro, like I really, really pray, bro, um, that you go as far as God going to take you, bro. It's um, like I said, you dope. And um, I respect you as an artist. Um, mm -hmm. Not even a fucking rapper. That's yeah. easy. Anybody can rap. Yeah, yeah, Anybody sure. can't be no artist, nigga. You um, just look at everything you do, turn to go, everything you touch. Yeah. From the music to the videos to the clothes, like, you feel me? Even to the people. Like, yeah. You feel me? Everything you touch, turn to go. And you got a gift, nigga. And um, don't throw your shit away, bro. Just hanging in a veal, yeah. or um, just just not using your talent. You feel me? Because just how God bless you with it, he'll take he that shit away from you. For sure, for sure. He'll definitely he'll take that shit away from you. So you definitely want to exercise that shit, just like a nigga exercises rights. Yeah. You definitely want to exercise your talents, bro. And um, I don't even know why that's heavy on my heart right now, but I don't. I got to just keep yeah. telling you that, bro, because, um, you know, um, niggas like us, we can we can be the change that we want in this world, yeah. for real, for no, real. for sure. And, um, you know, like I said, um, you're not about to just come sit down with anybody late yeah. night. And I respect how you rock. You put up by yourself. Yeah. Like, you feel mm -hmm. me? And, you know, that shows a lot about a nigga right yeah. there, you know, because niggas can be one way on the internet and then you yeah. see them like, you know, they yeah, hold dirty yeah. deep and <laughs> hiding behind whatever the fuck. No, nigga, you put up silent, standing on business and I definitely appreciate that, bro. Definitely appreciate that. But um, before we go, give me one business idea. Uh, One business idea. Shit. I don't know, man. I'm gonna get my fucking brain. I don't Come know, on, man. man. You gotta give it to me. Give me something. Shoot idea. something. Give me one. And this uh, for whoever listening. I don't know, man. Nah. I don't know. You got to. Okay. You already got the music. You got the. You got the camera. You got the. You got the clothing line. Come on, man. I know it's something else. I mean, shit. You said you want to be the, a CEO. I mean, the, what you, you want to be the CEO of? Shit, I want to be the CEO of nigga. Hella shit. Just like a big ass, just just a building with hella shit going on. That right, right. Like, a, I really want to do like the production shit. Because okay, I know that shit will go far, it. for sure. Like, Something like this that, set up. Yeah, like this. Because, you know, production, you could just do hella different shit. Right, just right, anything right. like movies, videos. You got weddings. You got the whole little get down. Right, like, right, right. For sure, that type of shit. Um, Where can we find you at? Shit, uh, Instagram at uh, P R O J E C T P O P P A 65. Twitter, the same shit. Uh, 
the tick I forgot what the fuck my TikTok was. I think it was like Project Papa Five Hundred or some shit like that. I don't remember, but shit. Uh, what's Instagram. your only fans? Shit, man. They gotta hit me on Instagram. I send a link. <laughs> <laughs> I love that nigga. Man, for sure, man. Um, thank you for your truths, bro. Appreciate you. Um, you already know. Anytime you need to pull up, yank up, come yeah. fuck with me, bro. Fuck with me now. I really enjoyed this conversation, yeah, bro. No, like, for sure. it was definitely needed. enjoyed this conversation. Very therapeutic. And um, nigga, if you need my help with anything, yeah. I'm gonna connect the dots for you. I'm All gonna, time. you know, do everything in my power and uh, vice versa. I hope. Yeah, no, yeah. hell yeah, definitely, sure, bro. Man. Appreciate you, you already King. know, off top. Yes, sir. So.